So this is looking at conjugates or solutions to quadratic equations and how we can make up the quadratic equation with imaginary numbers. So if we look at this, we're going to solve this first equation. Now, I could use the quadratic formula, but actually, I hope you've realised after doing some work on this, that I can simply write down my equation as z equals negative 2 plus and minus 7i. Now, let me explain some thinking behind that. First of all, this two number, this negative two number here, comes from the b part here. So we're halving the b part and making it a negative. So we've got 4 divided by 2 and making that a negative, and that equals the b part. Now the c part, the constant part at the back here, that number there is made up by doing 2, or negative 2 actually, squared, and 7 squared. And I get that negative 2 and that negative 7 from here and here. And that gets me the C number to be 53. So, if you want to pause the video and try this next one, I'm looking here at this first number, which is minus 10. So I know that I'm going to have z equals minus 10 divided by minus 2, which gives me 5. And then this second number here is 29, 29 is equal to the 5 squared plus another number squared. So that other number must have to be 2. In fact, it's 5 plus and minus 2i. OK, so we can also go the other way with these. So instead of having the quadratic equation and finding the roots, if we're given these two roots, so I've got there's one root and there's the other root, which is actually z equals 3 minus 5i. What I can do is I can make these up by saying that z squared plus... Now, that b number, I'm looking at the minus uh, 3 here, 3 here, and it should be not positive. I'm going to double that and make it a negative. So it becomes 6z. A number out there. So that's just the same as I had before. If I work the other way, that first term, that, that 4 there becomes negative 2, and I'm just working the other way, so I'm doubling that. Now, the number at the end here is the 3, and I square it, and the 5 or minus 5 squared. So that's 9 and 25, 25 even. And that's 34. So that's how I can make up an equation from the roots. And finally, if I'm only given one zero, so I'm being given this one, the other zero or root is the conjugate. Quadratic equations, they always come in pairs for imaginary numbers. So now I can say that z squared equals, I remember what I do with that first number, I need to, to I went from 3 to minus 6, so I need to double that first number and make it a negative, I'll get there in the end, minus 12z, add and now I square the 6 and I square the 2 or the negative 2 and it makes no difference and that's 40. And then I've got a family of them, so I'm going to make that an A in front. Now in a second video, I'm going to show you the proof or the reason why this happens.
all the time.